The following thoughts on Happy Hour do not represent Cox Media Group or its sponsoring. Anything you hear may and will be used against you. Thank you. Voted as best local podcast in Tampa Bay by the Creative Loafing. You're listening to Happy Hour. Are you feeling classy today? Sit down, pour a glass of wine, and listen to Happy Hour. You're tuned in to Happy Hour, an hour where Happy rants about something. Sit back and listen in. Happy Hour is on now. Happy Hour is on now. Yo, what up? What's happening? This is Hoppy Hour. I am your host, Ryan Hoppy. And like always, you might not be aware, but we have a new co-host on Hoppy Hour. My guy, Kyle Veet, is sitting in. What's up, dude? What's going on? Here goes another day of nothing, huh? How pumped are you, man? How honored are you to be on Hoppy Hour right now? Just like every other day, bro. I'm I'm stoked. I'm ready to do this, ready to get going. We have an interview tonight. So. All right, tweeted me. At Ryan Hoppy Radio, and if you're listening live via Spreaker on the Hoppy Radio app in the Google Play Shop or iOS, message me. We have a lot of comedians coming up. I got a lot of praise on that interview with Joe Riga from Cigar Comedy. We've had from Cigar City Comedy. We've had Matt Fernandez, Law Smith, Joe Riga. Dude, coming up, we have JB Ball. We have David Weingarten. We mm-hmm. have Michael Marillo. Yep. And we have John Jacobs, who's been on MTV, man. I mean, we have four of the best comedians in Tampa Bay. Coming now, how many of them are going to be in the studio? All of them. All of them in the studio. And then I'm working on getting national um, comedians, too. Basically, I just look up the names that are sort of big, and I message their Facebook profile because I'm friends with so many people on radio. They're mutual friends with them. Yeah, so yeah. I'm like, hey, this guy I look up to, would you want to come on? Yeah. And what was so At least weird- then you can see if they read it or not. <laughs> yeah, right. So. Oh, he's a douchebag. Speaking of reading a message, you're not a girl. You don't have a vagina. You're not weird. Why do you have it set up as red on your phone? Uh, I don't know. I said never. So I, I'm not a girl. I don't know how to go in there and change those settings. Do you do you not like that you can see when I read it? It's just weird. It's it's nice for me to let somebody know that I'm ignoring them. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, if I read it and you text me again and I read that too and also don't respond. Stop messing with me, please. Stop Stop with the whole thing. Yeah, like, I've had a few texts with girls before. I'm not going to sit here and say I'm a ladies' man. But there's been many <laughs> times before where... So there was this one time when this girl is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> and the girl is supposed to read a message and she doesn't. And it, she reads it and you don't hear back and you're heartbroken. Uh, absolutely heartbroken. It, it is it weird sucks. how social media makes everything weird when it comes to communicating. Like, our parents didn't have to go, wait, the girl read the message, but there's no response? Why didn't she respond? Why didn't she respond? But now it's like we have this problem. I mean, I've never been like that in my life either. So. Oh, yeah, because before you met your very lovely wife, you were just slaying all the girls, and you never had to worry about rejection ever. ever. So. <laughs> how did you predict that? Great minds think of the great- God damn it. I think you've been around me so much, and you know how I speak. Oh, yeah. You can you can anticipate it coming. <laughs> it's funny. So. so I was talking to Kyle on the way to the bone here because we were trying to, like, plan out the show and just come up with ideas going into 2016. <laughs> and, uh, you're doing it. Big things, by the way. Big things going into 2016. Yeah. And you're doing this thing because you – What's your day job? You're a delivery driver, and yeah. you're at one of your deliveries, and I keep talking. And you go, Hoppy. Hoppy. Oh, yeah. I stopped. Just like I told you guys last night, this man does not understand what it is to be put on hold. <laughs> hey, Ryan, hold on one second. And he's just, hey, Ryan, hold on. I finally stopped doing what I was doing. I was staring a customer in the face. I say, Ryan, 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 You probably started talking to your kid. Ryan, hold on. What? What? Oh. Oh, okay. And he finally shuts up. <laughs> like I bet he 30... thought he was like to, that. You were talking to like your nephew or your kid. He would never think you're talking to. A I pretty 20- much am. You're like my man child. <laughs> you're my man child. So. I really am embracing it today. Everywhere I went, dude, I was thinking, man, I'm awkward. Man, I'm awkward. Man, I'm awkward. Like I went to <laughs> Win Dixie and I was buying fried chicken, and in the shopping lane, I'm going, man, I'm awkward. Then I was doing my 
yard work for my landscaping job and I'm not coordinated and then I'm like, man, I'm awkward. And then this guy flicked me off in traffic and I was like, man, I'm awkward. Like, it no, that's really- when you get out. That's what I was talking about. You get out and you punch that guy right in the face. Don't say a word to him and get back in your car. Dude, it's really got into my head, thanks to you, man, that I'm awkward. I mean, it's good to embrace it. it like I said, it made you who you are. So do we have yeah. any content for today's show? Or no, we we're kinda... talking because okay. guess why? Why? All right, enough of that. I have a second job that is making me a man, Kyle. No, I have a man. second job that is making me grow up before your eyes. Oh, yes, yeah? I'm awkward around girls. Yes, I don't have great social skills. But this job is making me a man before your eyes. I am a landscaper with the very great, amazing gardens, and I landscape all day. It's giving me muscles. Dude, I almost banged you when I came in today. I had to. A- Stop and say no, no. And you had to put the lube Kyle, in your oh, pocket. I did, I did. It's, it's, it's hoppy. It's the same old hoppy. You got to calm yourself <laughs> down a little bit. So, but it was close. You almost got raped in that elevator right up. Give me some good backdoor action. Oh, okay. You're going a little too far there. You kind of freaked me out. Uh, well, you talking about gay socks? I pulled. I pulled the turtle, dude. He's a turtle. He disappeared. He's gone. I mean, yeah, man. This job is making me a man, dude. Digging holes in the ground. It's been a solid of- what, like six days now, right? Yeah, man, I love oh. it because it gives me a normal <laughs> sleep schedule because before I worked there, I did pizza for about a half a year, and I'd go to bed at 3 a.m., get up at like noon, be weird and depressed at home for an hour, do something, and then go back to my pizza job. And I was up late because I would do happy hour late then, so now it feels good to have a 9 to 3 schedule, get up at 8, get off at 4. And what did you do before the pizza thing? Was it like just a- I worked at a gym. At a gym. What about before that? I worked in radio in Cleveland, and I worked at a gym in Cleveland. And gotcha. then before that, I never had a job. Who would have thought that my first job ever in life at age 21 would be on the biggest show in Cleveland? Who the would have thought? Biggest show in Cleveland. <clears throat> oh, I don't know. I just, uh, I'm mocking you. I have no idea. I don't live in Cleveland. I've never heard of it. Great place. I'm just saying it's weird how I've grown up these last 12 months. You should have saw me on November 15th, 2014, I was a little child, but now I'm a man-child, <laughs> Kyle. I've now grown up. you are a man-child, a full-blown man-child. What is it about me that makes me such a man-child? Like, what draws you in? What draws me into the man part or the child part? Both. Uh, I mean, the child part's kind of creepy. I'm not, you know, <laughs> what, what's the freaking subway? I'm not Jared there, buddy. It's the man part that I'm all about. <laughs> what do you see in me? What's the potential? Because now I have a landscaping job. I lost my V-card in the last year. I lost weight. I'm becoming a man. But what more do I need to do? What do you see in me? You're a guy that is married, that has kids, that has a nice house. You've made it in life, and you're in your mid-20s. What do I need to do to even be close to be on track? I'm only three years younger than you, dude. Stay close to me, bro. <laughs> Stay close to me what and jump on What are you going to do? Train. It's going to be so great. I don't know, man. I work magic. It's just kind of what I do. I bring magic to every situation. I, even my buddies in the Marine Corps used to call me the uh, the lucky rabbit foot. So I used to skate out of everything, dude. Were you the guy that would be like the wingman for your buddy and he would go home and get laid because of you? I would do my best. I mean, I would try oh, first. you're not a magic man. Oh, you would try first. Yeah, I, I got to try for me first, and if that doesn't work, then you got to, you know, sidetrack over to the buddy. And then, okay, well, I guess I'll set these guys up. You should be my wingman then. We should go to oh. DTSP. I only live five minutes away from downtown St. Pete. It's a good six-buck Uber. It's cheap. DTSP. I'm thinking, like, double trainee suck something. Like, I don't <laughs> – I'm not getting what you're saying with that one. Downtown St. Pete. Oh, okay. You know, I live in Pasco, bro. I'm out in, like, Tampa. I don't do the whole St. Pete thing. But I'm totally down. I think me, you, and my wife are going out this Saturday, right? Get turned up. Turned up, bro. It's going to be unreal. Are we doing it in downtown? Are we going to Tampa? What are we doing? We should go to Tampa. My guy, Matt from Hornblast, we could bring him, have a party. Matt from Hornblast? I'm down. Yeah. Oh, I, I can hear the, the Hornblast. I get it. You know what I did there? I, I see that. I see it. I see what you did there. I like it. All right. Here's the deal. Next on Happy Hour. 
How amazing is this music? How the music is your laugh every time you turn it on. Because I look at your face. The head back laugh, like, oh my God, it's amazing my, to me how you're even still on this. I was watching a Periscope <laughs> last night of me. Dude, I'm not even awkward. My laugh is weird. I, think, I like lean back in a chair and it's oh, so theatrical. <laughs> it is. It's great. That's what makes it funny. That's why I like being in the studio here. You know, I, I'm pretty sure that like 110 of our 111 views on anything is you rewatching and watching over. No, no, no. <laughs> I never watch it over. Tweet at me at Ryan Hoppy Radio. What's your Twitter account? Uh, Hoppy Radio Kyle. We will be right back. Hang on. <laughs> Hey, it's Ryan Hoppy from the award-winning Hoppy Hour, and I'm here today to speak about my guy, Brandon Langley of Buzz Designs. Is your website so atrocious that you can't even be found on Google? Do you need your website to be updated, or do you not even have a website? Do you need to get some graphic design done? Do you need advice on computers? Are you just lost in general? Trust me when I say my guy, Brandon Langley of Buzz Designs is the man for the job. Buzz Designs has built websites that have gathered millions of views. He has worked with some of the biggest names in app development in 2015. The unique talent of the developers from around the world come together and they will help you expand and grow immediately with their hard work and their diehard ethic comes the affordable pricing so trust me when i say brandon langley is the man for the job he will tackle any challenge and he will not give up until the job is done when i came to town here in tampa bay my website was crap i met brandon langley at a concert, he recognized me. Two months later, I am so proud of my website, HoppyRadio.com. He can make you proud of whatever you want to share in 2015 when it is so vital and it is so important to have top-notch websites and top-notch graphic design for your product, your company, etc. To get into contact with Brandon, it's not hard. It's not rocket science. All you have to do is go to buzzdesigns.me, that is buzzdesigns.me, and there at the website, you can contact him. Be sure to leave your name, your email, and he will get back to you as soon as possible. I'm a man of my words. And trust me when I say, Brandon Langley of Buzz Designs is the best around and the best in Tampa Bay. Live from the Sunshine State, this is Hoppy Hour. Hey, it's Ryan Hoppy from the award-winning Hoppy Hour, and I am here today to speak about the best in the Bay when it comes to landscaping, irrigation, sod, waterfalls, and ponds. My guy Jeff over at Amazing Gardens Land and Waterscapes has the best team when it comes to getting it done in a fast and in a very accurate pace. Maybe you're sick of your lawn and you want to have it be redone. Amazing Gardens is the business for you. Or maybe you're moving into the new home and you're not happy with the lawn or you need to get a new lawn. Call Amazing Gardens. Trust me when I say the crew is hardworking and they get it done in a very accurate and timely fashion. To get into contact with Amazing Gardens, gardens land and waterscapes it's not hard it's not rocket science it's not trigonometry all you have to do is call them at 727-871-9224 that's 727-871-9224 and when you call them make sure that you say that ryan hoppy sent you and they will give you a badass deal and like they say let us dreamscape your landscape at down to earth prices trust me when i say they're the best in the bay it's time to turn hoppy on it's time to turn hoppy on it's time to turn hoppy on All right, welcome back to Hoppy Hour. I am your host, Ryan Hoppy. 
and my co-host Kyle Veed is here. Now, As would always. your lovely wife like to speak on the radio, or is she going to chill? I mean, I don't want to force her. I mean, nobody even knows she's here yet. So, it also, uh, theater of the mind. Maybe it's just your voice talking. If it were to happen, oh yeah, it's it's you know the back of my mind speaking. Tweet at me at Ryan Hoppy Radio. What is your Twitter account? Ryan or Hoppy Hour Kyle. Hoppy Radio Kyle. You got to make that for both of your accounts because it's so confusing. On Facebook, it's Hoppy Hour Kyle. But then it's I Hoppy. think I think I tried it, and I think one of them was already taken. Apparently, there's more than one Hoppy Hour Kyle, so <laughs> somebody randomly grabbed it up or something. I don't know. <laughs> Trying to join the team before yeah, they're even elected. You know what I mean? They heard you say something about Kyle and Hoppy Hour. Like, Ooh, that's, that's me. That's me. I want this. That's it's my Twitter. Okay there, guy. So calm it down. All right, I saw this headline. And first of all, if anybody out there thinks that true religious people, true people with moral, are the ones that you find on the scumbag network known as TLC, then you have the IQ of an immature, dumbass kindergartner. If you, what an analogy. If you think that. Josh Duggar is a diehard Christian, and that we should all look up to all these famous people that claim to be Christian. Because if you go on TV, Kyle, mm -hmm. and you put on this act of, oh, I waited till marriage. Oh, we have 16 kids, and they're phenomenal. That's when you find out that your son is being sued by a porn actress who he supposedly beat up. Was he banging the porn chick or what? No, he was playing cards with her. What do you think he was doing? I mean, doing? I don't know. I, I'm thinking, I think I've seen the show once, and they were all wearing, like, overalls, and the girls well, were wearing, like... Well, did you and your wife watch it together? Because it's not normal if a guy wants to watch 16 Kids and Counting. Uh, no, Not even, really. like, a pedophile part, just because it's reality TV. No dude should, like, flip through the channels and be like, oh, I'm going to watch TLC today. Like, that should never <laughs> happen in your life. Like, whenever it I dude, there's, there's the been channels, some There's been some low times, man. There's been some low times. You get bored. Nothing else is on. When I get low Gold time, Rush and I go on Kids Cinemax and, and watch porn. I don't watch the Kardashians or TLC. See, I get frowned upon for doing that. I always get, like, put in the doghouse every time I get caught watching porn. I don't, I don't get it. Does your wife put you in the doghouse? Oh, dude. Like, rough, rough. Couch time, like. Eating all out of the dog bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I think my pet would bite me in the right in the face. Yeah, man. I mean. I just don't know how you've seen the show because when I scroll through TV, I look for Spike TV, Cartoon Network, Comedy Central. You got to change it up a little bit. You got to change it up a no. little bit. That's why, you know, what does Cat Williams say? I don't, I don't like silk sheets, but the bitches do. You got to change it up. You got to watch it. <laughs> so if I begin watching TLC, I'll begin getting laid then. Oh, on the spot. They're more than likely to hear their doorbell ring and a girl will walk in. It's, just, it's weird how it works. Exactly. Knocks, yeah. Yeah. It's how it works sometimes. I think I'd rather be a virgin than dude because I don't know if I can watch this trash. You but call then again, if a hot girl with a nice body came in and she's like, well, let's watch 16 Kids and Counting, I'll be like, I love the Duggars. They have morals. <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah, you have that on the background. You call and order pizza. A hot delivery chick comes up. Oh, you watching 16 Kids and Counting? I love I'm that so show. I'm so sick of pizza, dude. Like, oh, my pizza, God. Dude, I was a pizza delivery driver for... Six months. Oh, yeah, I worked in pizza for a while. Whenever oh, I was a it kid makes too. you sick of pizza. Oh, I eat pizza every day. Every single day. I used to bring it home. I used to do it all the time. I would make a random ass pizza. I, get all I can tell you're gaining weight a little bit. Bro, you're back your, off, bro. You're Easy. Whoa. I but bet apparently, I would agree. You would, you've been packing on a few pounds. You're going on the dad bod. What do you think, Kylie? Speak in real quick. Is I, he... Yeah, I agree. He, <laughs> he's gaining some weight and losing some muscle. He needs to get back in the gym. He's too busy doing a podcast now. <laughs> you give me time to go in the gym, I, I wouldn't mind. I mean, but you're always, you know, me, 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we're going to get a fight on happy hour. <laughs> Do you guys fight a lot? Because I often wonder this as like a married couple. Like, you guys were young and dumb because we're in our 20s. We're not smart, so. Uh, we definitely have our differences, so. We, we get into What's it different about you guys? Because they say opposites attract. What's different about Kyle and Kylie? Oh, what a lovely couple. <laughs> well, first off, I'm, I'm a Marine. All right. I'm a Marine. I do Marine things. Oh, so I you're do... a tough guy. Watch exactly, out. Exactly, dude. Stand by, bro. Stand back. Watch out. Ooh, and you're going to kick my ass. I married my preacher's daughter, so that's completely opposite. Like, when we got together, dude, completely opposite. Has she changed you for the better? Not at all. 
<laughs> she's the one that wants like threesomes and stuff like that. I gotta talk her out of it all the time. I mean, all I let her do, all the like, time, dude. Every time we go out to the I bar, she's morals. trying. She's in. The, I mean, she's in the chicks. I don't. I don't mind it. I'm. I'm okay with it. How would you turn down the chance of a lifetime because of religion? Because of the Bible? Oh no, no. Whenever it happens, you know, fifteen, sixteen times, you know, you kind of. Oh, stop. I get so old. Exactly. Oh, you want to bring? Girls. You know, yeah. Eh, whatever. <laughs> so, it's like listening to a song twenty times. It'd be it'd be old. better if I was allowed to touch, but I'm not allowed to touch. I can't play. Is that true? <laughs> She's speechless. Uh, no, that's not true. <laughs> Kyle. How pumped would you be if she came in and she's like, let's have a threesome, but you have to read the whole Bible first? Whoa. Um, I mean, that Bible would get read in probably about 46 seconds. So cause I, this is something I try to talk her into almost every weekend. So, <clears throat> but, Would it ever happen, Kylie? Or is this a thing where he's just going to have to keep watching Cinemax for it to happen? We'll see. We'll see. It depends on who he uh, who he wants to bring around, I guess. Woo. So let's say you guys go to the bar this weekend and you find a hot ass chick. Classy, nice dress. You're digging the vibe. Do you guys go back to their place? Do you get a hotel? Do you go to her place? Do you do it in the car? Where would it go down? Uh, not in the car. I don't want it to be like Kyle's last threesome. So <laughs> definitely not in the car. But this time, it wouldn't be an Eiffel Tower, so it'd be a little bit of a better vibe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, I love how awkward this is making Kyle. Anyways. Your face is as red as a fire hydrant. We were on a... a you were so cocky about talking about banging <laughs> girls when your wife's not here, but when your wife is three feet away from you, you become this little man. You sit here when she's not here, and you act like a tough guy during the commercial breaks. You put on this act like, ooh, I'm Kyle V, and I'm a Marine. <laughs> <laughs> but when she's here, which, which, oh, the no. whip is here, buddy boy. <laughs> I can sense the vibe. Negative. That's not how it works. That's you, not how it you works. You know what I mean, Kylie? He's acting a little bit quiet. You listen to Hoppy Hour. You hear our conversations back and forth. He's always, oh, I got this girl to come back. Oh, I got my friend to get an Eiffel Tower. Now you're sitting here. Uh, dude, as we're going over all this, I, I get live texts because she listens live as we're going. And as we're going to the show, I'm getting texts. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? What about this? And what about, like, oh, shit. So. Why do you get so offended, Kelly? It's radio. Five people listen to this anyway. Oh, uh, not offended. I just ask questions, I guess, While about it. While we're doing a show, there was one time, I'm not <laughs> mad at you, but there was one time this little bitch is literally responding to texts while we're on air, and I'm saying, what's your take, Kyle? And he's like, oh, I'm on my phone. That's important. Dumbass. <laughs> Have you ever heard this? Are you in the country at all? No. No? There's this one song. Because I'm, I'm normal. Country music. I'm going through that. the big D and don't mean Dallas. That song going about, about divorce. That's why I stay on my phone. Because divorce is a, well, a, a very real thing. Well, you can't just turn in your man card, dude, and be a little bitch forever. Oh, what? Unless that's what marriage is. No, about. you're out of your mind. I definitely have my man card. She does not care about oh, yeah, nothing. Oh, yeah, you're macho, it. gaining your little weight, your dad bod. Oh, you're so tough. Yo, back off the dad bod, first off. You have a dad bod? No, I do not. When I first met okay, you. Okay, freaking ever. man child over there. What are you, what are you talking man about? Man child with bigger arms than you, dude. Because you're all bigger than me. You're freaking... Nine foot. That doesn't freaking, mean anything, dude. We should call you Mount St. Ryan. I mean, that's. That's not insulting whatsoever. It's not insulting. You're just a freaking pile of freaking, I don't even know, baby. I know. It is <laughs> weird. I don't have facial hair whatsoever. Like, how would you describe my looks, Kylie? Is it like a big man child? Like, what is it? Yes, definitely man child. You are very tall. Yes, man child. That's but perfect. No facial hair. No, no facial hair. <laughs> you you have a child face and a man body. It's very odd. Yes. God bless me with that. Because you're a preacher's daughter. You believe in God. I don't know how you do. He blessed me with all these deficiencies scoliosis awkwardness weird face my friendship with kyle everything that's happened in my whoa, life whoa, whoa. what's the bad thing about your friendship with kyle? i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure we're doing solid right now we're doing we're on a good roll we're on a good track i mean maybe but maybe. then you call during the break or no you call as we're on the way to the bone with critiques when i'm the radio guy and you're the business guy not critiques suggestions Friendly. Don't you ever sit here and critique me, the award-winning <laughs> host who can't get laid and lives with his cat. 
<laughs> Don't ever let the married successful guy ever critique the radio savant, okay? I hope you know that. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm, I'm, I got it, my place. It was sarcasm. Oh, I know, I know. I know exactly where you're coming from. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> This is a fun vibe, man, having your wife here, because it puts you on edge. Because before, you were acting like such a tough guy, like, watch out, I'm Kyle V, and I was in the Marines. And now you're all nervous. You're more nervous than me. When I first met your wife, I was a little awkward. Now I'm the confident one, and you're the little <laughs> bitch in the corner, You dude. are out of your mind. Ralph will come over and put you in a chokehold right now. Ooh, watch out. <laughs> yeah, For ooh, watch out. viewers on Hoppy TV, what are you going to do? There'll Choke be more. me out? There'll be more. There'll be more later. <laughs> So watch how many hits that gets. Ryan gets out cold, just like whenever Ryan hit the freaking ground, falling out of his chair yeah, laughing. Right. <laughs> Instantly screaming. Last week screamed. on Hoppy TV, I fell out of my chair. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. now the show is better than ever. So I saw this headline, Kyle, and I just wasn't surprised. It says, Josh Dogger is being sued by a porn actress for assault and battery, and she is asking for $500,000 in damages. First of all, let's see the pictures. Let's see the proof. I'm not saying she's a liar, but I don't think he beat you up. If he did beat you up, it's not worth five hundred thousand bucks. What is what does this guy do? Does he have five hundred thousand bucks? Is what I mean. He has a decent net worth. He was on one of the biggest shows on cable, sixteen kids and counting. But he's a child involved in that, right? He's not the actual guy. Is he the guy? Or he's the he... main oldest brother, the one that they all looked up to. Oh, it says anymore. here, Josh Duggar made headlines earlier this year when he admitted to touching five underage girls as a teen and making headlines when he admitted to cheating on his wife after the whole Ashley Madison hack. Now the former 19 kids and counting, oops, I've been saying 16, it's actually 19, my bad, is being sued by adult film actress Danica Dillon. Oh my God, I'm the biggest fan of her. Oh, really? She is on the Cinemax movie. I'm really getting into watching Cinemax because it has like acting. I don't think I know any of the actual porn stars' names. Oh, I know I way too many, dude. I know, like, I've heard of Alexis Texas and Raven Riley. Oh, yeah, dude. Name. Danica Dillon is a cutie, dude. This Which is one's her. Danica Dillon? She kind of looks like your wife a little bit. <laughs> oh, well, that's awkward. You trying to bang my wife, bro? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, dude, I was watching this movie with her, man. That's weird how he's beating her up. Here's the weird part about it. It's even weird that a guy who's religious would be associated with someone as dirty as her. The things she did in this movie, man, were so dirty. It's odd to think that someone religious would be around her. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So what's... No, does that make sense? About, yeah, I know exactly. It makes sense. Because he's the Christian guy. She's the porn star. I get, I get what you're saying. Oh, no, but she's more... She did a lot of things, dude. Oh, a yeah. lot of things. Is she freaking HIV positive or what's going on? No, but I mean, she did a lot of things. I want to keep it clean, but anything in the book when it comes to being on camera, that's what she did. Backdoor, DP, all that stuff. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's just the beginning of it. So. Oh, very well. Is she the girl from Two Girls, One Cup? No. <laughs> like, that's a whole other ball game. What's worse to you? You think, okay, you out and have a one-night stand. Yeah. Is an STD worse or getting her pregnant, getting a one-night stand pregnant worse? Pregnant. No, 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 STD, because the pregnancy can maybe bring on a kid. Well, it maybe, depends on what, what type of STD. Is. What it about? depends <laughs> what type of STD. One that you can cure, I'll take that one. But I would rather have one night that I regret bring on a kid something positive. Cause you're we're not we're gonna, talking about herpes, genital herpes. So what's your thrust? Oh, your kid life? in any way. Really? I'd rather be a father any day, even if I'm broke, because at least you have something positive and you don't have warts on your crotch. <laughs> What would I rather have? Uh, okay, okay, we'll put it this way. What if you're married, you get married to freaking whatever her name is, your Cinemax girl. Danica and, Dillon. Yep, and you start running around on her, you know, you get one listener said, come on, Hoppy, I want you, no blah, pun, blah. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> so, and what you calling, you bang her, is it worse to get an STD from her or worse to get her pregnant? Probably I would say the pregnancy thing isn't bad because you're just bringing a kid into the world. And STD is a gift you keep on giving forever. And yeah, I, exactly. That's why it's not that bad. You know, you do it, you find out, like, ah, oh, crap. You didn't, oh, you know yeah, I'm saying? I'd rather have a kid than have an STD. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm saying the opposite. I'm definitely on the opposite side. 
Because then all you have to do is sneak it. What like, about you, Mrs. Veet? Would say, you rather give the gift that keeps on giving, or would you rather have the thing that you have to give gifts to for the rest of your life? Get it, a kid? I would rather have a kid out of it <laughs> than an STD. <laughs> You have an STD, Kyle, where it shows up every month. You have to go to the doctor. You have to take cream for the warts. Would you rather have that or have a kid crying all the time? Kid crying all the time because at least then you can keep having sex and not have to say, oh. Well, if I run around on her, on my, you know, behind her back and I have a kid, she's going to leave me. All I have to do is sleep with her enough times before I tell her I have but an STD to, to give her the STD, and giving. she's stuck with Your me. Your wife's going to leave you anyway, so you might as well no, be able to have... No, no, no. What you do is you give her the... Like, if I catch the HIV, and all I got to do is give her the HIV, too, without her knowing, and then once she finds out, she's stuck with me anyways. Because who else is going to want the girl with That's the HIV? It's actually a crime to give someone the HIV and I mean, not, not tell them. If I didn't That's know. why I Sheen's going to have legal actions. It's not the biggest crime, but there's going to be lawsuits. There are girls he gave the HIV to. I love when they say, oh, Brie Olsen didn't get it, or this person didn't get it. That's just two of the 1,000 whores that he's banged. <laughs> with his land skim condom or whatever the heck it is, sheep skin or some crap. And the other thing that we, uh, we keep overlooking when it comes to Sheen, dude, is the fact that he's a very flirtatious, charismatic guy. I asked my mom, do you think he's bisexual? And she said no. I wouldn't take it out of the realm if he's bisexual. I mean, I, I completely would. If you can go over and get that many girls and pick porn stars and whoever, he can literally walk into a crowd, even now, that he, the whole world knows he's HIV positive and say, you, you, and you, come on. And they'd be all over it. Yeah. I, couldn't even, I couldn't even be mad at Kylie. I couldn't. I mean, it's Charlie Sheen. So if if she walked out of the room with them, I'm like, well, damn, that sucks. But the next day I'm going to ask questions about it. Yeah. You seem like the guy where if she were to cheat on you, you wouldn't be mad that she, <laughs> that she cheated on you. You'd be saying, who is better in bed, him or me? Exactly. Who is bigger? Who is bigger? Does he have a curve? <laughs> is, it, how, is his curve like my curve? What's going on? <laughs> who lasts longer in bed? <laughs> you know oh, that, that would be an easy. He definitely lasts longer in bed. I mean, there's not many... People who can last shorter than me. All right, so here's what happened was Josh Duggar and my girl Danica Dillon, the adult film actress that he supposedly beat up, they were having consensual sex, and he began to assault her. I mean, that's she just suffered, kinky. She suffered emotional and physical damages after their encounter and is asking for $500,000. Here's the thing. She said she felt if she was being raped, and... Even though it's not legally admissible, they said that he can pass a polygram test, which can show if he's innocent or not. Basically, it really will depend. Do they have proof of what happened or was just this being her with BDSM wanting to get beat up in that? You know what I mean? Yeah. It is, there's, so there's no pictures of her or anything like that? Nothing. No, yeah. She's garbage. Garbage. Whatever. Go back to your horse self. Yeah, I mean, the thing she did on camera, dude, I'm not saying she's lying because I never, ever, ever want to say that a girl is lying when it comes to getting beat up. But, I mean. Uh, okay, if I'm going to go. Let's just say this. Let's just say this. Chris Brown slapped Rihanna. Danica Dillon was getting slapped, but it wasn't with a hand. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm having sex with a porn star, the last thing I want to do is missionary. missionary all right? I, I'm wanting to choke. And throw around and what at like it's a porn star. It's what they're there for. I mean, they have, have one reason to be alive. Question out on your wife, Kylie. Has he ever tried to suggest things? And you're like Jesus Christ. No. I just wish he would start suggesting things. Maybe he can treat me like a porn star. Jesus. Okay. I'm next. Really... So next. <laughs> I mean, tonight's gonna be fun. Now, so <laughs> guys, have to go to one of those adult shops on the side of the highway. Get some kinky outfits. What's what's the whips. big one here? The Todd Super Todd's, Club. yeah, Todd's. Here we come. Whoever's working. I went there for an event, man. Whenever I get a girlfriend, I'm getting. I'm gonna get all the lingerie there. They had everything <laughs> you would ever want. It's for you, right? They do they sell on XXXL or extra long? Do they have a big and tall? Yeah, <laughs> they did, dude. They had lingerie. everything there, man. When At I Todd, have been freaky there? sex, I went Wait, there for a Drew Garabo event when we were passing out dildos <laughs> and things like that. It was funny because I went inside and it was weird because they have whips and chains. They have handcuffs. That's my dream scenario for the girl to take over and to handcuff me to the bed. That'd be insane. Happy hour. Happy hour.